Today I'm going to be showing you my Rhino build. This is a, a max range, well not completely max, but I'm using overextended to get a lot of range to be able to stomp things pretty much the entire room because the, the range on, on the 4 is already ridiculous with just overextended on. So I figured this would be a really nice uh, opportunity to make a nice CC build for Rhino and it definitely works. Look at that, 47 meters with just overextended by itself. I'm using uh, corrosive projection as my aura. You can use whatever you like. If you want to use uh, energy siphon, you can. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm using uh, fleeting expertise and streamline. This is really important because you're going to be constantly using your four, which is the stomp. And um, when you're doing that, it just costs so much energy that pretty much running without fleeting makes it so that it's just it's more of a burden than an actual uh, good thing to be stomping around. Uh, and also to enforce that, we got a reinforcing stomp, which uh, this makes it so that when you press your two and you put your shield on, every time you do your four, you're going to be recharging your shield every time. So pretty much if you get it down to, let's say, for example, 50% of its shields left, which I never see an opportunity where it gets that low. But uh, if you do your stomp, you literally only need to hit like five or six targets to get it to max right away. So this is a beautiful thing. And when you're stomping, you're hitting at least 30 targets. Like, it's ridiculous how many things you'll put in the matrix. Like, it's, it's pretty freaking crazy. Okay, I'm using Transcended Fortitude and Intensify for damage. And then I'm using Overextended. So this is kind of ruining the damage, but you're getting all that range, which is, damn, it's excellent. It's just freaking excellent. I'm going to show you how it is. Because that four just turns into, like, the best CC. It's pretty crazy. And then I'm using Prime Continuity to get that duration back up along with uh, Constitution. So uh, my duration is at 105%. So I tried to make sure that all the stats are over 100% at least. I didn't want anything to be minus. So uh, this was the best setup that I had for that. That way we don't have to be refreshing the three too much. We can kind of like keep that going pretty well, which is about 30 seconds-ish. So it's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, let's um, jump into it. And uh, you can see how it is. All right, so I just made it into the mission. Uh, the first thing, I um, this is actually in the void. This is an interception mission. I figured this would be probably the best way to test this out to show you exactly what it's like. But uh, as you can see already, every time I stomp, it's going to be recharging my two. So uh, pretty much everything that isn't stunned in the air is going to instantly recharge, recharge your shield. So it's really, really nice. Especially when uh, you start taking a little bit of damage, you're going to be stomping either way. So it's uh, definitely a good thing to just keep that stomp going. That way you can keep your two uh, maxed out with its shields. But let me take some of these points. Um, the thing with interception missions that make it really difficult is that you're going to have mobs coming from like all over the place and uh, I tried going with a stretch uh, build like I wanted to have overextended and stretch but it kind of ruins the the build a little bit because uh, you will have to sacrifice duration or sacrifice something that you really don't need to be sacrificing so I, I figured this would probably be the best one you see I'm still stunning things from really far away so it doesn't even matter but let me go capture a because I know they're gonna try to capture this side and stuff let me go over there these uh, interception missions are pretty difficult to do by yourself because you always have like these mobs all over the freaking place just coming out of nowhere, coming out of the woodwork and stuff. So you never know where where they're going to land up next. But I know a lot of them like to go to D, so I'm going to go hold down D now, now that I captured everything else. So let's go do that. But look at this. See, everything is pretty much in the matrix mode right now, so I'm just running around just kind of blasting whatever is still alive. Let's see how many are over here. There's usually like a bunch that would gather up right here on D. Which I'm surprised is not a whole lot. Usually there'll be like a flood of mobs all over the place. Like they wouldn't even, they'll never end. They're just unlimited freaking waves. Oh, there's somebody trying to take this spot right here. Let me stun him. There it is. So pretty much like the stomp. The range on it is just so insane that it just, it stuns everything everywhere. So there's no reason for nothing to be not in matrix mode. You see, like, look at this. They're over here in matrix mode behind uh, this doorway. 
And um, the four actually hits through walls, so you don't have to worry about line of sight or anything like that. It's just gonna it's gonna hit everything in the whole entire zone. So it's it's really really awesome. These mobs don't even have a chance. Look at this shit. Oh, you're trying to take the spot. You're not gonna take it. Good night. Yeah, so this, uh, I, I was trying to figure out a nice build for Rhino. I, I don't like typically doing the, like the typical kind of uh, tanky builds that people usually do with Rhino. I like to change it up, at least with all my builds. I have a, a Valkyr uh, build that I'm going to be putting out a video in the next couple days that is actually really good with CC also. <clears throat> and this is something that I never really considered. Because every time you play like a, a Valkyr or a Rhino or something, you expect like, oh, you're a tank. So you're supposed to run up and kill everything like manually, punch them and all that shit. But you don't have to do all that. You can build these characters very, very different. And the beauty of this is just this stomp. Like, look at this. Everything is just stunned everywhere. So there's no, there's no way they're going to be able to do anything. Oh, they're somehow taking the spots over here. Let me go grab them back. That's why I keep doing the stomp, to make, to make sure that they actually get held on this side, too. They're probably going to take D in a second. Let's see. Yeah, look, you see? Always one little asshole that takes the, the damn computer. Alright, get held, bitch. Yeah. See, that's what's awesome about this. You, you don't even have to worry about nothing. You're pretty much invincible. Nothing is ever going to kill you, ever. Like, I'll go through an entire mission with 0% uh, on the incoming damage because it's just, like, it's impossible for them to break your shield off because every time you use the 4, you're always constantly recharging the 2. So that's what's uh, great about that uh, reinforcing stomp mod. It's really good. I was for a, a little while using the um, Iron Shrapnel, which is actually a really good mod. So if you don't have this one, you can get that one. But I don't see why you would go ahead and, and not buy this one, because this one is probably better if you're going to be doing this build. If you're doing the more tanky kind of build, like I was just uh, saying earlier, you're probably better off getting Iron Shrapnel. But um, it's not really necessary. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good mod. It's just, uh, I feel like this one is just so superior. Like, look at this shit. Alright, well, that's that's it. I'm pretty much, I'm going to leave now, but that's the mission. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, this guy wants to fight? Alright, let's uh, just kill him real quick. Which I can waste him in two seconds with the... Ah, oh, I don't have my Sarpa. I thought I had my Sarpa. Damn. If I had my Sarpa, you would have been instantly dead. Now, this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult with the setup that I have running right now because um, the Ingus doesn't really do that much damage to him. And also, the melee is kind of shitty on trying to fight him. So let's see how it goes. Let's wait for him to show up. There he is. You see, you can't really do that much damage to him. Okay, it's kind of working. Ooh, he's kind of wrecking my shield. Oh shit, you wrecked the fuck out of my shield. See, if I had my, my either my Detron or the Sarpa, I would have instantly killed his ass in like two seconds. Come on. You bastard. He talks so much shit. Die already. Finally. All right. Well, okay, while he talks shit, uh, I think we're going to just uh, leave him. Uh, yeah, but that's a build. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.